Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. We are going to be talking about Nuno Tavares and Lisandro Martinez and the left-back situation in general. According to reports, Tavares is now being linked to uh, with a move to Marseille on loan. A couple of days ago, we did hear that um, Tavares was being linked to Atalanta, but the reports say that Arsenal wanted us something like 30 million like cash, like upfront to be paid for us to sell him to Atalanta. But that that does sound like a lot of money. Yes, we did sign him for, was it like around 8 million pounds or something? And for Atalanta, they just wanted him on loan, but Arsenal kind of rejected the loan at first, talking about they wanted to sell him on a permanent deal and they were asking for around 30 million pounds. Now, I do understand that because obviously he joined us just less than a year ago. He's very young. And uh, I do understand that the fact that Arsenal don't want to be bullied in the transfer market because I always say, how comes Chelsea? How, when was the last time you saw Hudson Odoi playing for Chelsea? Chelsea are able to sell someone like that for forty million pounds. Why can't Arsenal do that with their own player? So I'm, I'm not, I'm not um, complaining about Arsenal asking for that kind of money. But um, Atalanta were not willing to pay it, so it kind of went quiet for a day or two. And then today we are hearing that Marseille are about to get Tavares on loan, or they want him to go there on loan. Now, Arsenal do have a good relationship with uh, Marseille. Obviously, our, our last few players, like Wenduz, has been there on loan the last um, season. Obviously, let's not forget about Saliba, who's been out there on loan. Kolasinac went there as well. So we do have a very, very good business relationship with um, Marseille. They want Tavares out on loan as well, with an option to buy. So if he does well for them, they have the option to buy him. Gwendozi could be moving there on a permanent deal as well. Kolasinac moved there on a permanent deal. So this could be the third player moving there on a permanent deal. So the question for you guys is, would you want Nuno Tavares to go out on loan and return next season? Or do you just want to sell him up front, get the money? If you can get something like change £5 million, pounds, just sell him. We've made a profit on him. Have you seen enough of him? Do you think he's not going to improve at Arsenal? Personally, I'd say he's very young. Yes, he did make a few terrible mistakes last season, like the foul throw that cost us the goal against Newcastle, the same things we've been complaining about with Bellerin. Tavares was doing a lot of them last season. He's very young though. The first part of the season, he played really well. Um, he even put Tierney on the bench for a couple of games that had me wired for Tierney. But right away when Tierney came back, you could tell the difference between the two players. One is very established and one is very young. But personally, if it's a loan deal, I'd like to send him out on loan to a Premier League team, like a Fulham or a Brighton or teams like those. Like, I'm not a fan of sending uh, players out to France or those kind of countries, Italy. Yes, the leagues are still very good, uh, but people call the French League a farmer's league. But the leagues are still very good. You're still going to play against teams like PSG, AC Milan, Juventus. The league is still very good. But personally, I prefer him to get Premier League experience. Whatever you, you do in France and Italy is not the same as England. So I'd prefer him to play in, uh, for like a Fulham or a Brighton, those kind of teams, or even a Newcastle. I don't know if they would want him. Improve, uh, improve in, in the Premier League, improve in your qualities in the Premier League, get used to playing against the, those Premier League wingers, and then come back to Arsenal. But it looks like we could be sending him out on loan to Marseille, which would be interesting. So, would you sell him, loan him, or would you want him to stay for next season? Now, if he does leave, that means that we have to get a left back, because at the time of recording, Tini is still injured. So, I don't think Tini will be there for the first few games of the season. He'll probably miss half of the preseason. And I don't think he'll be ready for the start of this unless he has a miraculous uh, recovery. So that means Lisandro Martinez is back in the talks. And Fabrizio Romano has just confirmed today that Arsenal are still uh, in negotiations with Ajax for Lisandro Martinez. One thing I want us to do is to hurry up with this deal because Ajax have already gotten rid of players like Halle and Baghaus, and they won't get rid of more than five players. So the first team is to go for three or four players. Um, it's like a shopping center, it's the Ajax shopping center. You need to buy things as quickly as possible before they run out of stock. And Lissandro Martinez, we need to get this deal done as soon as possible because Man United want players like Anthony and um, Timba. Dortmund have come in for Haaland. You never know, players like Tadic could be linked to moves away. So their players are in demand. It's just like Dortmund or Southampton or Atletico Madrid. Those teams are usually very, very good in terms of selling players. So in, you need to get their players very quickly before July because they can just change their mind and say, you know what, you're not going to sell any more of our players. So we made a bid of 30 million, it was rejected. Let's see how much Arsenal will go in for this talk of about 50 million. But now that we are talking about signing Rafinha and Jesus, that's over 100 million. If we did indeed have uh, 215 million to spend, this if we sign all these three players, that would take it above 160 million. And since we had already signed Vieira and Marquinhos, 
that will be it for the transfer window. I can't see us getting any more players because that is an expensive window. That will be one of the most expensive windows we've ever had in Arsenal's history. So I think the fact that Tavares could go out on loan, that definitely means you're going to sign a left back. And we are going for this kind of players who can play as a centre back and left back and right back. Tommy Asu, Ben White. And this guy could be the other one. I think we'll go for this guy instead of Aaron Hickey and Zinchenko as well. I don't think we'll get two players from uh, Man City. So let me know what you guys make of that. Very, very interesting. Tavares out, bring in Lissandro Martinez. Would you even sell go as far as selling um, Tavares? Let me know. Thank you for watching and catch up with you guys on the next one.